Shadows danced across the faded wallpaper as Samantha Ray stood in the foyer of Raven's End, the ancient house she'd unexpectedly inherited from her estranged grandmother. The air was thick with the scent of dust and decay, and an icy finger of unease trailed down her spine. She hadn't seen Grandma Evelyn since she was a child, before the rift that tore their family apart. Samantha's mother had fled this very house twenty years ago, taking Samantha and severing all ties with her past. But not before whispering a chilling warning, Raven's End will never let us go. Now, here Samantha was, drawn back to this crumbling manor on the cliffs, by a grandmother, she barely remembered, and a cryptic letter hinting at dark family secrets. Secrets that had something to do with her mother's untimely death last month. A crack of thunder made Samantha jump and she clutched the tarnished skeleton key tighter. According to the will, this key would unlock the truth. The truth about what happened all those years ago. The truth about the curse that supposedly haunted the women of her bloodline. Stealing herself, Samantha fit the key into the rusted lock. The door swung open with an ominous creak, revealing a cavernous hall lined with grim portraits and cloaked in cobwebs. She stepped inside, floorboards groaning beneath her boots, and closed the door behind her. There was no turning back now. But as Samantha moved deeper into the house, a flicker of movement in an old gilt mirror made her freeze. Slowly, heart pounding, she turned to face her reflection. Her breath caught. Staring back at her was not her own face but the ghostly visage of a young woman with streaming black hair and mournful eyes. The apparition lifted a pale hand, pressing it to the glass as if reaching for Samantha. Then, in a swirl of icy wind, she was gone, leaving only questions in her wake. Over the next days, as Samantha sorted through her grandmother's earthly possessions, the old house came alive with whispers in shadowed corners and spectral figures glimpsed from the corner of her eye. Objects moved on their own. The piano played haunting melodies in the night. And always, the mirror downstairs reflected not Samantha, but the ghost of the woman in black. Research into the house's history raised more questions than answers. The woman was Lydia Raven, her great-great-grandmother, who took her own life in 1880, rumored to have gone mad with grief after her husband's death. But there were darker whispers, too of an illicit affair, a forbidden romance, and a jealous rage that knew no bounds, even after death. Late one stormy night, poring over brittle documents in the attic, Samantha sensed she was no longer alone. Hard in her throat, she turned slowly to face the shadows in the corners. A moan emanated from the darkness. Then, a sing-song voice, soft and chilling. She's coming for you. A figure materialized from the gloom, it was the ghost of Lydia Raven, eyes black holes in her ashen face. She pointed a trembling finger at Samantha. Beware, child. Beware the curse of Raven's End. And then she was gone, leaving only an icy chill in her way. Shaken, knowing she was in over her head, Samantha reached for her phone with trembling fingers. She needed help. She needed answers. And she knew just who to call. Dr. Damien Frost was a professor of paranormal studies at the local university. Brilliant, enigmatic, and devastatingly handsome, he was exactly the kind of man Samantha's mother had always warned her about. The kind of man who could shatter her heart. But as the haunting at Raven's End escalated, as Samantha was tormented by visions of the past and an increasingly malevolent presence, she knew she had no choice. She had to unravel the mystery of Lydia Raven, and her own family's dark legacy, before it was too late. Before the curse claimed her, too. When Damien arrived at Raven's End, the plume of fog rising from his lips in the cold air, Samantha felt a rush of something far more dangerous than fear. Attraction, hot and immediate, sparked in her veins at the sight of his dark hair and piercing green eyes. Eyes that seemed to pierce right into her soul. Samantha Ray he said, shaking her hand. His skin was surprisingly warm in the chill gloom. It's not every day I get called to a genuine haunted house. She smiled wryly, trying to ignore the electricity humming up her arm at his touch. Well, I'm afraid it's not just any haunted house. It's my haunted house. 
and my haunted family history, apparently. He studied her a furrow between his brows. Family history? What exactly aren't you telling me, Samantha? She bit her lip. Dare she reveal her darkest fears? The sins of her family's past, and the terrifying possibility that she was next in a long line of doomed, cursed women. Before she could decide, a blood-curdling scream cut through the night, emanating from the house. They whirled to see the ghostly figure of Lydia Raven in the attic window, her face a mask of anguish and fury. Then the window slammed shut with a bang. I think, Samantha said shakily, we should talk inside. As they crossed the threshold into the house, Samantha's skin prickled with fear, and something far more forbidden. The haunting had begun, and there was no telling what secrets the shadows of Raven's End would reveal, or what forbidden desires might unlock the key to her salvation and her doom. In the flickering light of the library's fireplace, Samantha told Damien everything. The ghost of Lydia Raven. The curse that had claimed the women of her family for generations. Her own mother's untimely death, which had brought Samantha to Raven's End seeking answers, and perhaps seeking her own doom. Damien listened intently, the flames casting shadows across his chiseled features. When she finished, he reached across the space between them and took her hand. His touch was electric, sending sparks shooting up her arm and into her heart. Samantha, he said softly, his green eyes holding hers. I know you're afraid, but I promise you we will get to the bottom of this. Together, his words were a balm to her battered soul. For so long, she'd carried the burden of her family's dark legacy alone. But now, with Damien by her side, she dared to hope that they could unravel the mystery, and perhaps in each other, find the strength to break the curse once and for all. Over the next days, as they delved deeper into the tragic history of Raven's End, Samantha felt herself drawn to Damien in ways that both thrilled and terrified her. He was brilliant, passionate, consumed by a desire for truth that matched her own. And when he looked at her, his eyes burning with an intensity she'd never known, she felt like he could see into her very soul. But even as their connection grew, so too did the dark forces arrayed against them. Lydia's ghost grew more violent, lashing out with a fury that shook the very foundations of the house. And Samantha was plagued by vivid nightmares, visions of a past life where she and Damien had loved and lost before. One rain-lashed night, as they pored over ancient diaries in the attic, Samantha came across a faded letter that made her blood run cold. It was written in Lydia's own hand, dated just days before her death and it revealed a shocking truth. Lydia had not taken her own life, as the official story claimed. She'd been murdered by her jealous husband, Damien's own ancestor. Damien, Samantha breathed, the letter shaking in her hands. Did you know about this? Did you know what he did to her? He closed his eyes, pain etched into every line of his face. I suspected. The Frosts. We have our own dark legacy to bear. He opened his eyes, and the anguish in them took her breath away. I'm so sorry, Samantha. Sorry for what he did to her. To all of them. She crossed the room in two strides and wrapped her arms around him, the letter fluttering forgotten to the floor. He stiffened for a moment, then melted into her embrace, burying his face in her hair. It's not your fault, she whispered fiercely. You are not your ancestor, Damien. Just like I am not doomed to suffer Lydia's fate. She drew back to look into his eyes, willing him to believe her. We can break this cycle. We can choose a different path. For a long moment, he simply stared at her, some unreadable emotion swirling in the green depths of his eyes. Then, slowly, reverently, he cupped her face in his hands. Samantha, he said hoarsely, do you have any idea how extraordinary you are? And then he was kissing her, his lips soft and urgent on hers, and Samantha's world narrowed to the heat of his mouth and the pounding of her heart. She kissed him back with all the pent-up longing and fear and desperate hope inside her, her fingers twisting in the fabric of his shirt to draw him closer. The kiss deepened, Samantha's body melting into his as if it had been made to fit there. And for one shining moment, 
she let herself believe that anything was possible. That love could conquer death itself. But then a piercing scream tore through the night, shattering their stolen moment like glass. They broke apart, breathing hard, to see a terrifying sight outside the attic window. Lydia Raven stood in the overgrown garden, her white dress billowing in the wind, and her black hair streaming around her like tentacles. And at her feet lay the crumpled form of a man, his throat torn open and his sightless eyes staring up at the stormy sky. Samantha's scream lodged in her throat as she recognized the man's face. It was Harold Frost, Damien's father and the current owner of Raven's End. No, Damien choked out, his face ashen. No, it can't be. Lydia's head snapped up, her eyes locking onto Samantha's through the glass. A slow, terrible smile spread across her ghostly face. I warned you, child, she hissed, her voice slithering into Samantha's mind. The curse cannot be broken. Raven's end demands its due. Then, in a swirl of icy wind, she vanished, taking Harold's body with her, leaving only his blood staining the grass, and a newfound horror gripping Samantha's heart. The curse was escalating, claiming new victims in its insatiable hunger for vengeance. And Samantha knew with a bone-deep certainty that she and Damien were next in its crosshairs, unless they could find a way to stop it once and for all. Even if that meant facing the darkest demons of their pasts and the forbidden desires that threatened to consume them both. In the aftermath of Harold's gruesome death, Raven's end descended into a nightmarish spiral of terror and despair. The police swarmed the estate, but could find no earthly explanation for the grisly scene in the garden. And Samantha and Damien were left reeling, their newfound bond tested by the horrifying realization of just how far the curse's reach extended. They clung to each other in the darkness, drawing strength from the unexpected love that had blossomed amidst the chaos. But even as they worked feverishly to unravel the mystery, poring over Lydia's journals and Samantha's own fragmented visions of the past, the malevolent presence in the house grew stronger, more violent. Doors slammed shut of their own accord, trapping them in rooms that pulsed with an unseen menace. The piano played discordant dirges in the dead of night, accompanied by Lydia's mocking laughter. And always, the specter of Harold's lifeless eyes haunted Samantha, a warning of the fate that awaited her should she fail. Through it all, Damien was her rock, her port in the storm. His arms around her were the only thing that kept the crushing weight of despair at bay. And when he made love to her, their bodies moving together in the velvet darkness, Samantha could almost believe that their love was enough that they could beat back the darkness through sheer force of will. But the curse had other plans. One moonless night, as they huddled together in the library, the temperature plummeted and the shadows came alive. A howling wind tore through the room, extinguishing the fire and plunging them into darkness. And there, in the heart of the maelstrom, stood Lydia Raven, her form flickering like a guttering candle. You cannot escape your fate, she hissed, her voice dripping with malice. The Raven women are mine, as they have always been, as you will be, Samantha Ray. Samantha stood on shaking legs, Damien's hand clasped tightly in hers. No, she said, her voice ringing out clear and strong. I am not yours, Lydia, and I never will be. Lydia's spectral features contorted in rage. The wind swirled faster, slicing at their skin like icy knives. Foolish girl, you think your love can save you? Your love is what doomed you. And suddenly, the pieces fell into place with blinding clarity. The curse, the haunting, the tragic cycle playing out over generations, it all led back to one inescapable truth. It was you, Samantha whispered, staring at Lydia in dawning horror. You cursed yourself, out of jealousy, out of spite. Because if you couldn't have love, no raven woman ever would. Lydia's scream of fury shook the house to its foundations. The wind became a cyclone, tearing at Samantha's hair and clothes, threatening to lift her off her feet. But she stood her ground, Damien anchoring her. I renounce you, Lydia Raven. 
Samantha shouted over the gale. I renounce your curse, your hate, your bitter envy. Love is stronger than you, stronger than death. She turned to Damien then, shaken but sure. Damien, I love you. In this life and the next. And nothing, not even the grave, can tear us apart. Tears streamed down his face as he pulled her fiercely to him. I love you, Samantha Ray. Always? Their lips met in a searing kiss. Lydia's howls of rage fading to a distant roar as the power of their love blazed bright, brighter, blinding. An explosion of pure light engulfed them, shattering the darkness, the hate, the centuries-old evil that had plagued Raven's End. And as the curse shattered with an almost audible crack, the house shuddering as if released from a great weight, Samantha and Damien clung to each other, laughing and crying in the sudden stunning silence. Dawn crept rosy-fingered through the windows, limbing their tear-streaked faces in gold. Samantha looked around in wonder at the house that had tortured her, tried to claim her. But she had beaten it. They had beaten it. It's over, she breathed, hardly daring to believe it. We're free. Damien rested his forehead against hers, his eyes shining with love and joy and pride. You did it, my darling. You saved us all. In the days and years to come, there would be questions to answer. A legacy to unravel. But for now, all that mattered was the love that had carried them through the darkness. The love that had saved Samantha's soul. Hand in hand, they stepped out into the sunlight, ready to face a future together. A future where the ghosts of Raven's End were just a distant memory. Where love, at long last, had triumphed over the grave.